Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In the last episode, I showed you how you can add a, a chapter to a Teams meeting that was recorded one-on-one -on -one that was stored in the OneDrive. And I wanted to show you how to do it uh, on a meeting that is actually scheduled within a Teams channel. And uh, in general, any video um, that is stored in SharePoint or OneDrive. So uh, what we will do, we are now in a uh, in a team channel, and actually we will schedule a meeting. And uh, by default, uh, these types of meetings are stored in the SharePoint uh, document library. So uh, let's start recording, and uh, let's give it a couple of seconds, and we can stop it and uh, stop the trend. And now actually we can um, close it and we should see the recording over here. So uh, it says recording stopped. It will be stored there in a second. Let's switch. Okay, we see it's, it's here. So actually we can go here actually to the files tab and you see, oh, uh, there's a new uh, recording uh, tab. We, and now actually if we open it, uh, then we will be able to do it. So actually I will open it now in, in SharePoint just because it's, uh, it's possible. Just a second. Which team we are, we are on team which is called a uh, demo session so i'll just search for it here demo session so this is the document library and we have the channel which is called uh, this is the channel and we have the recording and this is the meeting actually that I recorded. So if I open it now, first of all, I get the message that the, that the expiry uh, of the of the meeting will uh, there's a, a date that it will be deleted, but that's uh, less uh, relevant. Uh, like I showed you, we can activate the transcription and also the cat chapter. And if we uh, go to the chapter, then we can define uh, uh, states of, uh, of the chapter. So let's say it will start from 004. And we can add another chapter, which will be uh, overview, which will be 015. Yeah. And uh, when we do this, actually, we will see uh, when we hover uh, on each chapter, the name of it. So this is uh, for the recording, which is on the team channel. But let's see how it works in, in general. If Because this channel is called ABC, and within the ABC, we have the recordings. But let's check if it's something not relevant to Teams. So I'll just upload a blank... Uh, video that I have, an mp4 video. Let's choose, for instance, uh, this uh, chapter video. It will upload and uh, you will see actually that this is, has nothing to do with the recording of the meeting. It's just a video that I uploaded and we will be able to have the functionality so let's see how long we have. So we are nearly there. It's uploaded. And uh, here we are. This is it. All we need to do is to open the video. And actually, we will see here the setting. And we can activate the transcription. By the way, the transcription is something we can generate even though it has not been uh, done um, through the recording of the meeting and the chapter. So I can refresh here and, and soon I will see the transcription. We can go 
uh, now to the chapter and to create the chapter test one and we can make it another test two and this will be for zero one and actually you notice that if I come here then it created it and let's go back and see actually uh, the transcription uh, okay because the, it depends on the size of the video it will take but actually it's creating uh, captions and transcription actually um, no matter if it was uh, recorded through teams or not so because it's it's it takes time I will pause and I'll show you in a second how it looks okay we're back look we just got information that uh, if it's English, then uh, it has been completed. And if we come here to the transcript, we'll see here uh, automatically uh, all the videos that, all of the text that was uh, generated. Uh, you see it starts from zero, zero, and it comes to the f four minutes and 13 seconds. And actually it's, it's great. Now, what, what we can do is actually, uh, I'm wondering if it's possible to export it. Um, currently, I don't see this, but the chapters, if I come here to the three dots, I can copy the chapters uh, to the clipboard or delete it. If I go here and just uh, put note, notebook and notepad, and I can paste it. Uh, you will see I'll get all of the um, chapters and then I can post it uh, somewhere, uh, maybe with a hyperlink. So this is the information I have. I uh, hope uh, it was useful. In summary, actually, um, the behavior is no matter if the team, if the video was stored as part of a team video recording, if it's in OneDrive, in, if it's in SharePoint, and actually uh, I was told even in Yammer. Um, I haven't tested it, but le let's see how it is. Okay, so hope you enjoyed my show and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.